Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning. Give me oil in my lamp, I pray. Hallelujah, give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning. Keep me burning till the break of day. Sing, Gosanna, sing, Gosanna, sing, Gosanna to the king. Come on, folks, sing. Better than the Jerry McCall show, this. Sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna to the King. Give me love in my heart, keep me loving. Give me love in my heart, I pray. Hallelujah, give me love in my heart, keep me loving. Keep me loving to the break of day. Come on now. Sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna to the King. <coughs> this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, praise the Lord. If you're happy and you know it, praise the Lord. If you're happy and you know it, and you really wanna show it. If you're happy and you know it, praise the Lord. If you're happy and you know it, show some love. If you're happy and you know it, show some love. If you're happy and you know it, and you really wanna show it. If you're happy and you know it, show some love. If you're not and you know it, read your Bible. If you're not and you know it, read your Bible. If you're not and you know it, then you really want to show it. If you're not and you know it, read your Bible. If you're not and you know it, trust in Jesus. If you're not and you know it, trust in Jesus. If you're not and you know it, then you really want to show it. If you're not and you know it, trust in Jesus. Jesus is here for you today. He loves you. He wants to show you his love show you his blessings today the blessings of the cross the blessings of his resurrection is here for you today life might seem difficult sometimes for you you might wonder what life is all about and you might feel you're struggling and you're wondering what's the purpose of what's the point why the point is Jesus the point is that Jesus Christ the Son of God loves you and died for you on that cross to bring you home to heaven he loves little children he loves Grandma and Grandad, he loves all people, and that love was shown you at the cross. For there on that cross, he showed his love by giving his life for you. And he can change things around in your life. If you're feeling down and discouraged, if you're wondering what's the purpose and meaning of life, if you're wondering uh, how you're going to get through this week because you've got so many issues to deal with, Jesus can be coming into your life right now. He's a real person. He really died. He really rose again. And he's really alive. And because he's alive today, we can call upon him. We can ask him for forgiveness. We can ask him to come into our life. And we can ask him to, 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 to come in. And what that means is we become born again. And the Spirit of God comes into our life. And we become children of God. We become alive in him. And he'll change your life. He'll get you off drugs. He'll get you off addictions. He'll get you off your struggles and difficulties because he'll make a difference in your life because Jesus answers prayer. Jesus answers your tears. Jesus answers your cries. He will never turn anybody away. People might have turned you away. People might have got rid of you out of their life because they don't like you or they don't, they don't want you. But he will never turn you away. He will take you with open arms. If you come to him, well, brother, do you want to debate me, man? You want to debate me? It's called free speech, love. Free speech. That's what Britain's about. Free speech. We're not in, uh, we're not in uh, China. We're not in Korea. We're in the UK and we have free speech. <laughs> so God bless you. Jesus Christ is the Savior and he wants to be your Savior today. 
So let him into your life. Let Jesus change your life. Let him refresh you today. Take away the, the struggles that you have. Take away the things that you're worried about, you're concerned about. He says to me, come to me, all you who are weak and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And he'll give you rest of mind, rest of soul, and he'll forgive you of all your sin and the things that you've done wrong. We've all done wrong. Every single one of us has fallen short of the glory of God. Every single one of us has failed. But yet Christ died for me, and he died for you, and he wants you in heaven today, and he's crying out that you would come to him. He's crying out that you believe in him. And, and, and so call upon the name of the Lord and you shall be saved. Believe in the blood of Jesus Christ and you'll be saved. It says the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. Now you say, Jay, I don't, I don't like what you're talking about. Because Jay, you're the Bible basher. You're the Bible basher, lad. I don't like what you're talking about. Okay, I tell you what, I'll give you 10 seconds to shut this Bible basher up. Alright? Prove to me. Prove to me. Come and prove to me right now that evolution's true. And I'll go home right now. You got 10 seconds to shut the street preacher up. Any of you PhD with science in biology can come right now and shut me up. 10 seconds to prove to me that evolution's true. I'll go home and I'll never preach again. So you've got your opportunity now. Come on. 10 seconds. One. Two. Three. You see, nobody's got the guts or the knowledge to show that evolution's true because it's not true, it's a fiction. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You see, evolution is a myth. Do you know why it's a myth? I'll tell you why it's a myth. Scientific studies were done with bacteria. They increased bacteria, hoping it would change. 40,000 generations. They tried to make bacteria change to be something else. But guess what? It was still bacteria. You see, evolution is a myth. You were created by God. God created this world. And you were created to worship God, to love God, to adore God. If your life is not living for the glory of God, you have missed the point of your life. Everything that we do in our lives should be for the glory of God. And God wants you to live for His glory, not your glory. Not my glory, but His glory. He wants you to live for His glory. And if you're living for yourself, if you're living for the praise of men, if you're living for what men want, and living for their glory or your glory, you're missing God's glory. And the Father loves the Son. The Father and the Son are one. And if you don't love the Son, the Father can't have you in the kingdom. So, my friends, who do you love the most? Do you love the Son of God? Do you believe in the Son of God? Do you trust in the Son of God? Because in the Son of God is salvation. Now the Son of God died. When he was on the cross, he shed his blood. And the blood was being poured down. As the crown of thorns was on his head and the blood was coming down, he shed his blood. And that blood was shed for you and shed for me. And as he died on that cross and the blood was coming down, every lie that you did, every lie that you ever did, the Son of God paid the debt for you on that cross. Every hatred and anger that you ever did was paid on that cross because there the Son of God hung on that cross, pouring out his blood, taking the judgment for you, being your sacrifice, being the one who died in your place, he shed his blood. He shed that blood to save you. Now, if you've lied, he took the beating and on the cross for your lies. If you've stolen, he took the beating for you on the cross. If you've done immoral things, sexually or anything like that, he took the punishment for you on the cross. If you have been full of hatred, stealing, whatever it is, he hung on the cross for it. He paid the debt for you. So you cannot hang on to your lies, you cannot hang on to your sexual immorality, you cannot hang on to your stealing anymore, you cannot hang on to your addiction anymore. You have to say, Lord, you paid the debt for me. You paid the debt for me. You paid the debt. 
God bless you, love. Have a nice day, love. God bless you. Have a nice day. Do you want to come for a coffee, love? Do you want to come for it? Don't be swearing like it's. But don't be swearing, love. It's not good. He loves you. He loves you. God bless you. He loves you, sweetheart. Jesus loves you. He gave his life for you. He shed his blood. Now, the blood was shed for you on that cross. The blood was given for you on that cross. The blood was shed. And if you want to go to heaven, you've got to understand that the Son of God died in your place. The Son of God died on your behalf. That crown of thorns on his head. And as he hung on that cross, the blood of the Son of God was being shed for you. He was taking your punishment for you. That you may live. That you may have life eternal. So, come to the blood of Jesus. Come to Christ who gave his life for you. Come and find that love and peace and that joy. He loves you and he wants you into the kingdom. But time is short. Don't hang on to your sin. Don't hang on to yourself. Don't hang on to your ideology, your ideas. Don't hang on to your pride. Don't hang on to the things that are pulling you down. Don't hang on to them anymore because you might not get a chance next week. You might die next week. So don't do it. Don't play dice with God because God might not give you that chance. He's giving you that chance today to repent, to turn away from the things that you know are not right and to turn to that cross and to believe in that cross knowing that he gave his life for you. And there, there, you'll be wiped clean. There you'll be forgiven. There you'll be washed. And you'll be a new person, a new creature. My friend... There is a heaven and a hell. There is a heaven and a hell. And I know you don't believe it, but one day you're going to pop your clubs. One day you're going to pop your clubs. And you need to know where you're going. You need to know where you're going when you pop your clubs. And we're here to help you to know where to go when you pop your clubs. When you pop your clubs, you need to know where you're going to go. And we're helping you to get right. So that when you pop your clocks, you're going to go to heaven, not to hell. So, that footballer, he was on a plane. He thought he was going to go to Cardiff and he ends up in the bottom of the sea. You don't know where you're going to be next week. You don't know where you're going to be next month. You need to be prepared for eternity now. You need to get ready for eternity now. You need to come into the love of Christ. <coughs> oh, the deep, deep love of Jesus. Vast, unmeasured, boundless, free. Rolling as a mighty ocean in its fullness over me. When I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died. Oh, my friends, Christ died. Awake, my friends. Awake. Awake, my friends. And hear, hear God calling you. Don't keep lying, don't keep stealing, don't keep going that way you're going anymore. It's time to confess your sin and it's time to lean upon Jesus and believe in Jesus. He's longing that you would come, he will not turn you away. He wants everybody, black, white, yellow, pink, whatever your sexual orientation, whoever you are, or however you dress, he wants you to come to Him. He wants you to believe in Him. And He paid that price for you. And He paid that debt for you. On that cross. He paid the debt. All for you, my friend. Every ounce of your debt. He paid it for you. On that, on that cross. He paid your debt. All to Jesus. I surrender all to Him I freely give. I will love Him, yes I will give Him all, all my heart. I surrender all, <coughs> I surrender all, all to Jesus I surrender I surrender all. Surrender to him, friends. Surrender to him.
It's full of pride that you won't surrender to him. It's full of worldliness. You become worldly and you won't surrender. You become worldly and you won't read your Bible. You become worldly and you've gone the way of the world and the way of money, the way of mammon. Surrender to him.